So what's the documentary of? This is a documentary of uh, of uh, music. <laughs> One two. One two. Yeah. One two. Uh. Uh. Days ain't sunny. You work your ass off just to stack that money, but them bills always acting funny. The next person to piss you off, you're gonna go dummy. Man, I swear, this can't be life. Uh, I'm thinking the better days. This can't be life. Thinking the better days. Life is good, even when it seems tragic. When my attention goes, sometimes rumor has it Falling in and out of interest Phony one to make you wait like a bench rest So I'm only fucking with the fam like incest I ain't impressed, your conversation ain't even making an end debt Nigga, I'm in debt, what you think I need a sponsor for? To stop drinking, what the fuck you think these bonds are for? Sometimes you gotta balance out the lows uh, but then again, oh, yeah. Golden documentary man. What just happened? <laughs> what happened was I was trying to I was trying to get up without making noise because I hit the recording button and uh Adrian just lost focus and collapsed. Hey Buzzy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what up? We gained, we gained focus for the camera. If you could work with anybody uh, in the music industry right now, who would it be and why? Man, right now if I can work with anybody, I think I'll probably most likely work with people that's gonna be the next mystery. Like, I feel like there's something organic. Like, when you know somebody, and you know an artist, personally, it comes out better than just, oh, I'm such and such, I'm so-and-so, and you good together. And everything's not organic. It's not like, it's just like, oh, well, let me email you this verse, let me take something. But I think it's a whole different thing. When you know this person, you know their tendencies, you know where they're best and not the strongest at. So everything you know is taken care of before you even get down to the music. Many things away. The funny guy. Many things away. Follow me on Twitter. Uh oh. <laughs> How you spell it? How you spell it? It's three Z's, damn it. It's A B U Z Z Z Y. Now when you edit this, make sure it's like, you know, Z, it's a Z and a Z, you know, like that, you know. Like you know what I mean. Like the bouncing ball, Z -Z. make sure it's like that. Easy. Yeah. yeah, it threw me off there. Like when you when you said like A B, like I was expecting you to say like C <laughs> B, B, F G, like you were expecting the album. L M N O P. Oh like, shit, what? O P P. Not L M N O. Like, what do you guys think? It's not one letter. Elemento. <laughs> that was literally like, Elemento. Why don't you element open the door? Uh, hold up, wait, wait, wait. Alright, oh, I'm ready. <clears throat> Late nights. Early mornings, waking up, stretching and yawning, taking shots. Last night, like I'ma regret this in the morning. Reaching for that Alpha Sessor, C Wear 3, I'll sketch you. Heavy mix and low eyes. Use what's between your thighs, but that felt right. I don't know, we just kept walking. Oh, man. Man. I just heard him say like it's like this is like blah 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 empowerment, blah blah blah, like good music, blah. And it's like it's like but I can't I gotta sell it to you though. Like it's like oh god, why would you? How good is if you gotta sell it? Let's have shit to do it. Better be watch this. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I did the same thing. He just handed it to me. I was like, oh, am I tape? Tape? I just assumed. I thought the shit was like, okay, tape it. Do I tape it? What? Uh, if you charge people money to listen to your music and you're not famous, the fuck are you doing? Point blank, period. Or if you don't have a following. Or if you don't have a followers. A following. No one wants to listen to you who Fo they've never heard of. Fo following. This, this isn't Twitter. If you don't have a following. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. A real following. People that aren't your friends and just your family. That's when you're on Twitter too much. All right, keep going. <laughs> I know, it's on Twitter too much. You need to give this shit away for free. No one's going to buy shit. I don't care. I don't care if you came here from fucking Nevada. Whoa. Okay? No How would that make a difference? It. it does. Because I went to the mall one time. Dudes from uh, Delaware. I got the mixtape. Like, first of all, 
if you Photoshop your mixtape cover, I don't think that's not professional. Wait, like, wait. So if they're from Delaware, that makes a difference? No, I'm just. It doesn't matter where you're from. It's but like, it's it's the body, though. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like, 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 like the mixtape cover problem? should reflect the music. Like, look at this guy. Wonderful mixtape cover. Wonderful mixtape cover. Mm -hmm. What, what, what's wrong with bad mixtape covers? What's wrong with them? Who's? Just in general. What's, what's wrong with that? Oh sh. Like the graduation pictures. <laughs> That's the say, say that one. The cash, uh, photoshopped in the hand. <laughs> they all the naked chicks around with the asses out in the G string. And, you know, <laughs> the typical, you know, they, they photoshopped in chairs and thrones and stuff. They got crowns. What is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still waiting for like, like I feel we should wait for the next mixtape. Like we got we got the expectation videos that my hundred views right now. Alright, And then we also got um I said we should do one for the next mixtape and we should do one for Fade to Black and that's that combines about you know two months. This is not staged by the way. But I think that combines <laughs> I think it's good. I could buy another two months before. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't in on it, so it's not totally staged. It's not staged. This is not staged. But I think we could, like, you know, like, we can feed off of that a little bit more. Alright. And, like, like, build it up more. Like, I really think, like, I think we can finish it now, but even though, like, there's, there might be stuff where we might want to go back. Like, I might want to go back and, like, change the verse or go back and do something over them. Yeah. And if you do it, like, we won't get the time, the second thought, you know? Cause even when we did the first one, right, like yeah. we were done. I see what you're saying. It was just like, I don't know. I just like wanted to. I mean, I think we can. Like, I think we. No, I'm saying, I mean, I think we can like record most of it now, or if not all of it. But I don't think there's a rush to like put it out though. Only because like that'll probably give you more time to write if you want to. And there's because I don't, I really don't think like I can I can like legit. Give you 100% of everything. Early mornings, bringing up, stretching and yawning, taking shots last night. I really don't think there's a way, like, where I honestly, like, I don't want to, like, creatively force something. Yeah. Like, there's a lot, I like, guess, a lot of places I want to go with certain things. This is not stage. But there's a lot of places I don't want to go with filming the songs, but I just don't want it, like, you know. Like, I think I can get a bulk of this down, but I don't want, like, rush lines or, like, rush concepts. Yeah. That could have been thought out 100% better. Just the... The only thing is that my spring break is only like a week and a half long, I think, or something like that. I mean, so I mean not necessarily it that. It would have to be like pretty much done. Like before I mean, spring it break. It could be pretty much done. So if there was, or even if I had to go up there. I don't have a problem going up there. Yeah, with that. But I mean, yeah, it would have to be like mostly done. It's not staged. But I'm saying like, <laughs> even if that because was. Because there wasn't enough time. Because there's not a lot of time after that. Like I just don't want to rush it, rush it. Because we got a lot coming up. We got the show. January 6th, um, sure which will be on the documentary Scene 12, you know. Yes, they planned out, like, scenes. So, yeah. Did you do write a script? Uh, hell fucking yeah. So it's, so it's not uh, stage. Right? Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fucking promotion to hell. Wait, that doesn't make sense. You said you wrote a script and it's not stage? I, you know what? Ooh. I, I'm getting my Tyler Perry on. Back in the corner. I'm getting my Tyler Perry on. All right, then. All right. Alright, right, next song. Three, four. No, it's five. It's five. I've been up all night. It's just about getting bright. McDonald's is just about to open, serve some breakfast. You know, shouts to A Buzz for coming through on the track. Three Z's, don't you forget it. <laughs> and if you forget it, yeah. fuck you. Whoa. <laughs> This is just what hard work sounds like. I wonder how much Jay Z had struggle tying the punch. Actually, in the hard work doesn't sound like anything because it's a work, word. Life. It's, it's a like thing. It's a, no, it's a noun. <laughs> well, it's an adjective and a noun. You should know this. Work. You're the rapper. That don't work, man. No, you didn't. That was like seven hours ago. Oh, like seven hours ago. That's a long time. Like seven hours from now is twelve. That's a long time. But we grind though. When we get rich, this shit can pay off. Is it?
This is what hard work looks like. This is what what? This is what hard work looks like. <laughs> Red eyes, and Ryan got the Paul Bunyan beard. That's the Paul Bunyan beard. Take a look at that beard, ladies and gentlemen. You'll find out what hard work looks like when you look at what I'm recording right now. <laughs> Seven hours straight, nigga. We got straight off of work, came over here. And, oh. Oh, I have what you have. Yeah. And if we go here, really, I was thinking like, maybe like, hmm. like start from the beginning. And like, the, the crescendo your way up, and then let them like, feel like it's all about the sax. And then just like suddenly come down. Really? Like right into oh, it. Like, would you bleed a little bit into it? In the dream, yeah. Yeah. Talking about yeah. Like get them brought in. Yeah. And I, like them like, they almost don't think that I'm gonna come in. And they're like, they're like, they're so wrapped up. Oh, so, you know, like they're so wrapped up. You want, me to be, you, want me, you want them to think it's like, there's gonna be a saxophone thing. Like yeah, they feel like there's so much about the sax. Like, dun, 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 dun. Get it, Kenny G. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 it's just like, like you just start and you just start crescendo and then just like, yeah. Kind of, I got it, kind of. Yeah. A little bit. All right. It's, it's not my style, but I got, I got to figure it out. He's a master. Like, this is 50.com. This is 50.com. All right. Uh, you'll get a two-bar count off. Saying it's sensitive. What, the microphone? Uh, yeah, I'm like all the way over here. I can hear myself clicking the buttons. Yes. Yes. Let's see. It's a golden mic. Actually, can you play real quick? Just let me do a test. Are you, the levels? As far as um, like, as far as like octaves, like pitches, yeah. pitches and shit. Uh, not necessarily. As long as I'm right key, yeah. Right key. Yeah. Well, that's a given. Yeah. That's. <laughs> so, all right. So. Play how you feel. Yeah. 
<laughs> play with your heart. Oh, yeah. uh, I guess somewhere in the mid range would probably be sound best. Yeah. Okay. Like not too high, not too low, I guess. Sort of like what you just did was was pretty. Cool. If that's like sort of what you were gonna end up doing with the rest of it before you stopped yourself, that sounds probably about right. Like what? All right. Like Always drink Dr. Pepper. Always drink. Always drink uh, cognac. Mm -hmm. Cognac. Start from the top. Oh, yeah. What's good? What's up? This is what's up. Ah. Uh. Better. I was recording anything. I was recording silence. <laughs> See me. Yeah. Really? All I have is a dollar in the dream. We want them Q blinks. All right, here's another song we're working on right now. Yeah. Previously left untitled. Of course, we have December Ross in the building. Yeah, December Ross. We're working on this. This new mixtape, you know what I mean? Shout out to Kazo. You know what I'm saying? Doing good things, doing big things. Check everything out, man. These niggas is working, man. These are my little cousins. You feel me? Like, we just doing. We doing something positive, man. Trying to keep it positive, you know, man. Everything gotta be negative all the time, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's all. We just working. You see me farting like a motherfucking dog on the guitar. But, uh, actually, I don't know shit about the guitar. But, um, you know, man. Just just, just keep a lookout for everything going on. December Ross, of course, I got the head on collision. Mixtape coming out, my nigga Precise, shout out to Precise, you feel me? I got the City of God buying one, Casket Sharp, still coming out, you know what I mean? So we are working, man, we doing positive things with our time, man. We're we not just sitting here fucking around, niggas just trying to get record deals, all that. Doing the shit to be cute and for females and, 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 and to just say we rap, that shit ain't, ain't going down in 2012. It's a new day. It's actually what? It's today, the second, December, January the second, and we got this. Uh, you know, we gotta be working, man. We working, so just just keep a lookout for everything we doing, man. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this guitar, so, man. The clock's ticking, the pot's sticking, said if you're not with him, stop kidding the shit with him is God given. Stop tripping, got that when I'm not. You be like, um. I usually display at the normal size, but if we only have a 13 left, then obviously that's the display. Mm -hmm. So common sense is, hmm, if the display's a 13, I'm guaranteed you probably don't have anything. I mean, a 13 would be like... Oh. Yeah. It'd be like, oh, <laughs> when you're gift size 7 or 8, no, I'm sorry, all I have is 13. This is my last size. Are you sure? Can you check? No, I only have 13. So then they'd be like, oh, well, can you bring that back? Bitch, you're not fitting 13. Yeah, are you not like, 7 or 8. Like, yeah. I think because it's like five numbers, it's like, that's a big difference. Yo. The people are so stupid. Oh yeah, can you hear me out? Listen, man, you get what you're doing with these No. I think he's better, he's better than me. Yeah. yeah. Which isn't hard, but right? But based on the verse? Oh, not his verse, I'm saying, like, overall. I have to catch up to him. But, his verse is really good. He doesn't write, but he, like, He's not like Sean, don't no worry. He's like, legit, I don't write, but I know what I'm going to say. Yeah. 
documentary. So, like, basically, I'm sorry. You're gonna, like, break no, the table. So, basically, this is what happened. Um, I met Ryan through a mutual friend. Mm-hmm. That was official. So, I met <laughs> who lived right down the street from me, and he was like, oh, well, he's like, oh. Which we didn't even know he lived down the street. Yeah, we, I didn't even know he lived down the street from me. That was the weirdest shit. That was the weirdest ever. shit. And he was wow. like, Ryan was like, oh, right down the street, Peter mate. Yeah, um, do you want to start I was like, yeah. Yeah, um, Spike TV. He's like, yeah. I'm like, so you're the dude who sent me the beat. He's like, yeah. So after that, we just started talking. And he was like, well, I was making beats. And, like, we were going through a whole transitional phase of, like, all right, well, it only makes more sense because, like, the way you like, give beats fit my vote, like, the way we just click, you know. Yeah. So it was like we just went through different name changes. And then before the mixtape in August, we were working. We worked on a couple of loose ideas. We just try to get more like the like the cohesiveness now before we even put out anything. Like I want like to be more like 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 I know what's gonna come out of his mouth before he says it. Like even with this, like it'd be certain shit where it'd be like he knew where I was going with where I go from the idea with the beat or or like I might add something to the beat and like he and he knows exactly what I'm saying or he knows like the way he envisioned the lyrics coming out would be almost the same exact way how he made the beat. And like it's just like now it's just like we just click like that now. He could play a beat, and like uh, we can get together, and like that's all hell of a night. Never heard that beat before. I was like, all right, just give me a pen and some paper, and we just went down and went to that, like, and everything just went together. Like it's like we just worked so hard on just that type of shit, like important, like even before we can even do anything. Now it's like it's easy for me. Like he just does something, I just know what he's doing, I know where he's going, and I just know I'm down like that now. Oh like, okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Like, we just know each other like that, like, you know. Wow. All right. yes, yes, yes. Oh, we're live again. Full party, full party. Hey, Buzzy. Buzzy. My man Holmes, the general in the building right here on the tablet. My man Sean, the future STF over there. Of course, we got my man Ghost Rider. Doing it big, man. He's shooting in the, in the truck, whatever. And you like, we do like, everybody does at least three or four different takes. So it's not like the same shot of you. It's from different angles and shit. And what happens is that we're driving through and you get different sceneries in the background. So we're like moving with it. Like I think that's some like real like raw like like hardcore shit. You know what I'm saying? Like this should be like a good ass video. Like fucking legendary. Like, you was a nigga in the in the fucking that was you? I mean not like I mean I know some rough ideas, but like I, I can't I mean if you had like a like something like open, you know what I'm saying? But like the scenery's always changing now. You know, and just make it like, like, like just a dope ass cipher, you know what I'm saying? Like that should be just like mind blowing. Like niggas around here is not on those fucking ideas like that. Like niggas don't think like that. That'd be like the craziest idea I can think of for that. If we ever did a video for that. Like that'd just be like that bread to make anything up. happen, especially yeah. if you're doing it on your own. <laughs> Look at um, look at Jay Z when he first started. No one wanted to fuck with him, so the niggas he, got bread he had they bread. Sell he was selling they dope. Million dollars for eating us. Yeah, oh, they, they, they sell mad drugs, dude. They don't fuck around. They get this money and then they put it to work. Well, I think we just found our answer. <laughs> 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 I mean, but it's the truth. You got to have the bread. <laughs> I do it, dude. Answer. If if it was that easy, I watched the most crazy I've been doing this for ten years. Even managers the nowadays, they want you to put money Step two, get the butter. Isn't the manager three, supposed to get you to the money so you can get the money? Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Now they want your money up front to even go to work for you. Promo, too. Yeah, just to promote yourself. You got to pay for anything. Hosting. Mixed it, hosting up. So, anything. So, good. That's what 50 did when he first got 60,000 guns and coke. Yo. Yo. Tour has the clubs, the vans, the promoters, and everything. Like to get Jimmy me started. She needs 3,500 up front. We're not another five stacks. I do that shit. Months later. She wants I got a deal on that 60,000 now. She's making the money. I'm there. keeping 20. And and I said, well, how come I can't open? We'll come back for a million and about Get a little money. Yeah. Split it. Word up. She said, I don't They're like, like damn, you put a CD on it. It doesn't make sense. So, yeah. Ten years ago, the manager would like, 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 you gotta pay up front now. And nobody's making any money. Rihanna's new album only sold 196000 one week. 
her that's like her sixth album. Her first and second album sold like four million in week one. Her tour revenue was too shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, yo, get yeah. She made tour. she made ninety fucking million dollars off of touring this year. Yeah, you so might be like album sales. sales. The, the my album made like ninety million. That's what I'm saying. You live behind the album more. The album sales. Yeah, that's what I mean. Niggas, niggas racing that. He was like, I don't care. He said, I mean, I don't know what platinum. That's cool, but. I mean, I know he's talking platinum, that's cool, but you know, you don't make your money off of. That's why labels, labels make, make you sign off, that shit now. You make your money off a tour. Where is getting $150,000 yeah. $150, a show? Ten shows and then you got one point five million. He was doing that. Days. He was doing that unsigned too. Like you know, what I'm saying. Oh, Word is born. The nigga ASAP Rocky. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Nigga. Sixty stacks a show. I can live with sixty stacks a show. And really nobody know. Nigga like, oh you ain't famous so what, motherfucker? I got sixty stacks last night. Right. Being exactly. on stage for four hours, point. bitch. Dude, just to get um in good in New York, man, you get one of them little um joints in Tribeca, you get a stage, you know what I'm saying? People start asking about you, club owner wants to bring you back, next thing you know, you know, three months down the road, you can start charging a motherfucker. I'm mm-hmm. coming down to my box. Seven dollars a ticket. You know what I'm saying? It goes from hundred people to five hundred people to seven hundred people. Crazy, man. I'm trying to get this money on me for you. me a whiz so much. Mm-hmm. That sounds just like old But now labels make you sign that 360 deal where they get you a cut from the uh, the tours and shit that's now. Like that's why you don't. That's why you don't got to sign to a label. That's right. Yeah. Not sign to a label. Got, I wouldn't sign. You got the same shit as you got a distribution deal. Yeah. Distribution. What's, What's called name? 50 Cent's the main <laughs> Nah, 50 Cent's like the main reason why because that nigga was making crazy money off of other shit. He's like the it's first person I could life. think of making crazy money like off of like other things other than records, selling records. He, he decided. He just signed a deal with the um, what, energy water. Yeah. yeah, he just yeah, vitamin water. Vitamin water. Nah, it's called Street Kings. He got this. Oh uh, yeah, the um, the new energy drink it's he got. Energy shot. He just signed a deal with Pepsi. When I get on, I'm pulling the meat. He so he so. I'm creating some chips. Yeah, meat 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 got a bag of barbecue. I'm doing something. Some barbecue soda, meat 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 chips. He got some damn chips. Some you chips gotta have out. something the flavor that relates to you. Though, like, what the fuck is barbecue? <laughs> about? At the end of the day, you need. At the end of the day, you need a flavor. Shit, you gonna do that? My, I'm gonna have cocaine flavored chips. Big <laughs> <laughs> soda. You ain't got cocaine flavored chips. Make your tongue nothing but the mouth. But somehow it just won't get any more views. But nobody will get off their ass and actually share it with mm-hmm. because they're too busy worrying about themselves. Selfishness is so. Thick nowadays, and that's why it's even that's the even 10 million times more pressure on how to try to get somewhere. You gotta appeal because to everybody worry about themselves. Now, you gotta appeal to the selfish motherfuckers. Now, you gotta do shit like the what I'm about to do is this nigga from Camden. This nigga is poop. This nigga, this really because yo, he's fucking horrible. I had to put the G on fucking because he yo, he is fucking trash. But this nigga got a Bentley, and he got a lot of fans. Now, I'm he want to do a song with me. It's a win-win situation because fuck yeah, because you he's can grab his fans, and you can grab his shine, and that's it. You feel me? It's, it, if we both get something out of it, I'm getting his fan base exposure, and his fans that. However, they do like his shit. <laughs> they gonna get somebody else that they like. Now, on top of that, good. you know something what I mean. Good. Oh, that nigga's poop, yo. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm just I, about it. This it's funny, hard. though. It's funny, though. Because, like, the thing I look at it, like, is the way it is now. Like, too many people rap just to fucking rap. And that's what too, what too many people do this day, shit like, just to be cute. Well, people another do day, we'll be cute. saying that shit. They do this shit to be cute. A nigga will see somebody rapping, like, all right, fuck it. I'm a rapper now, nigga. Yeah, right. Four months. We all wanted to be basketball. Everybody wanted to be in the NBA. Nah, man. Now we can't I'm do it. My man, you know, <laughs> what's no idea? It's all saturated. <laughs> yeah, like, everybody wants it just because you can do something. Like anybody, anybody can rhyme. Anybody can just put cat, dog, hog, fog. Uh, yeah. Anybody can do that shit. Yeah. But can you do it That's well? Beer. And she didn't motherfucker. Uh, probably on the camera looking like a fiend, girl. But like, <laughs> the way I look at it, like, <laughs> like it's just. Like, right, people do it just to be fucking cute. And that's why I was telling, hey, now, cute. It's, it's even harder to get in the game because now you got to stand out. Back in the day, it was nobody knew nobody, so the hard part was... Everybody was all different. They're different styles, like yeah. Bone and DMX and, and Snoop Dogg. They all had the different styles, and there was only about 15 different styles. Well, yeah. now there's like two. Two, and it's bullshit. I, I don't like either one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. like either one. Back so, in the day, what the was, fuck do I do? It was no resource. So I had to listen to mixtapes and underground tapes and listen to other yeah, rappers yeah. trying to come up just to get my fix for music because the shit that I'm hearing, I can't fuck with it. Back in the day, it was hardly any resources and a lot of talent. 
So it was like, man, we got all these nice motherfuckers. Now it's mad resources and a shitload of no talent. No exactly. No now standards. everybody can get a hold. There's no standards. It's like, yeah, everybody, everybody like, is fucking the fat bitch. Now. Like, like, that's, like, <laughs> yeah, there's no standards. Like, all girls, fat girls. Like, fuck you, I'm not fucking that. Like, like somebody did that. What about the dudes that raised me up? That was like, man, a bitch supposed to spend their money on you. The industry is like me now. And the guys talking about I'm tossing hundreds and shit. Bitch, I'm not tossing a penny. Bitch, you better give me your paycheck. Ask my girl right now when's the last time I gave her a fucking dollar. And that's the thing. Niggas could... I mean, I'll buy all the way to three years. I'll buy flowers on Valentine's everything. I take her out to dinner once. Exactly. That's how I used to be back in the day. That paycheck comes in, that money goes in my pocket. Back in the day, my uncle used to say that. That money goes in my pocket. Yeah, my uncle used to say the same shit. I got this. I got this new bitch. Yeah, I'm about to be getting that paycheck every week. That's how it's supposed to be. Now these niggas is. That's how I was. That's how I was taught, nigga. But now, now I feel like the oddball. Niggas, motherfuckers are like, oh, you wrong. You dead ass wrong. You supposed to be. Give me your paycheck to that bitch. No, and I said, what fucking tree you fall off fuck of? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. Niggas, niggas got it. All and now I'm not cool. Or I'm, I'm out of the loop. Or I'm not this hot. $30 to go to the movie. I need $30 to go to the movie with me. <laughs> bitch, this bitch, no. I'm not doing none of that. Man, shit, man. And then like, My girl's so down here. When I go to play the poker table, I have like $200 on me. I'm like, man. I only, I only got 200 left. I don't feel like blowing it. You got like a buck 50. She'll go, she'll go to the ATM and pull out $200. And and that's so I can lose lose her money and keep my money. The that's industry will take is. whatever can, whatever that are just give them a quick little bam, a little rather than longevity. Like yeah, no more albums either anymore. Fucking, albums suck now. Fucking racks on racks on racks. I bet you can't. None of y'all tell me none of the words to that song. I thought, I, said, I thought he said resurrect. <laughs> you don't know that? I know what you're saying. He like, come on, got down, 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 I could make a bullshit song on purpose, not rhyme, on purpose, put that shit up. Niggas, yeah, yeah. That shit was hot. Like, like niggas too many me. fucking friends. Kelly did too shit. many friends. Too many friends. Like, nigga. If you can't do, if I can't play soccer, tell me get the fuck off the field, okay? Like Kevin Hart said, a whole bunch of yes men. You need to start telling niggas. No. That shit. Cause I know y'all heard the short bus shorty, right? That short yeah. bus. You know the crazy shit about that is people was clowning that like it was some bullshit. A B C. If that wasn't a joke, <laughs> I could actually hear somebody making that song on the radio. Paid off that. How about the one that just came out? I know you heard it. I know you. I forget the dude's name, but it's like Rack City. Rack Rack. Remember that? Y'all yeah. right? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> All right, no problem. We're live just from New York. Simple. This is live with Regis and Kelly. Everybody that hear it, they're like, yeah, that shit was crazy. Oh, yeah. You can cut that shit out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just trying to get my voice ready to go. Yeah. You cut that out after that's I That's the worst with me. I need to get to my rapping voice. I, ain't I know it's hard. Sometimes my... you got to uh. do it once or twice, then it comes out. Are you good? No, I mean... My voice sound weird to me, anyway. Hey, yo, no more fucking around, I'm gonna get him. Aiming at your rappers, fabricating how you living. I'm so gifted, now the ties done shifted. Ghost rider bitches in my blood, the rip shit, simply. Thank you all the artists that came through tonight. Um, thank you, thank you. So we can get everybody towards the center of the floor. We're about to start the show. Yeah. Yeah. Do it big, y'all. Do it big. Thank you to Advocates Takeout, our sponsor. We're gonna be throwing out free gear tonight. We got over 300, about 400 dollars of gear about to toss out. Snapbacks, caps, shirts, everything. To show everybody some love. Thank you for coming through. Um, Alright, let's go. Yeah. You ready? Yo. Right. If you guys want to come on back, y'all guys can come on back. Don't be scared, don't be scared, come on. Hey, you better start throwing some gear out, because we're not done here, y'all have to get up. We're all in the back. Thank <laughs> you. 